questions for you. Okay, first uh, and foremost, uh, thank you very much for taking the time in the last day of the month. Being in the business for 13 years, that's a testament right there for you, one of the top salespeople to be giving up some time for me and Susan. Um, and I want to reiterate what Susan said. Congratulations on behalf of Auto Success Magazine and Dealer Synergy for winning the $1,000 contest. Now, let me just kind of go over on, on a different approach, more of a tactical uh, consultant approach. I actually, can you guys see the screen with Robert's website on here? Can you guys see that, Robert? You see your screen? Okay, yeah. that's what really kind of blew me away. What Robert doesn't know is that Robert was at an NADA. I actually presented his website at NADA. I presented to several different of my clients off-site. And, you know, at first, I'll be honest with you, the website is it's clean and it's professional. But it's not like, you know, oh, my God, the, the, the site's, you know, shock and awe until you actually go through the content of the site. This right here, tell us about this right here. You have your own logo, man. Come on, explain that. This, this is pretty cool. A couple different. Uh, you see the glasses over there, hence, uh, you know, that's my nerdiness. That right there was, okay, the, y, the, y, the YHG, the uh -huh. Your Hyundai guy. Well, that's always what I call myself, and I did the light on there because one time I did a video, and I called like way back, like my second video I ever did. I was just letting my clients know how they can get a hold of me, and like then my cell phone is like the bat line, you know. And I said something that I'm always there for your automotive needs, like the Cape Crusader is for the fine citizens of Gotham. I don't know. I was just going on a rampage, so my friend then developed that. Uh, right there, we have a we have a history of me and this guy, my friend. We have a history of brand building. We used to do uh, we used to have a skateboard company and um, skate boutique, and we build our own clothing brand inside in in house. So we we love logos. You know, logos are you know, Sean, you like them too, man. The SVB with the tie. Yeah, no, you know, I love you know we love them. So we're just looking for any excuse to do something. So it's like the calling. You know, you can call me. You know, like. Like they call Batman. No, I, I love it. And just for the record, uh, that's my favorite superhero and my son is Batman, for the record. Now, listen, how did you do this video? This video <laughs> was very, very impressive. Um, again, especially coming from a salesperson. No disrespect to salespeople, but you don't have the resources of a multi-million dollar business. So how did you come up with the concept and how did you execute? What type of software did you guys use for – this is high level. It looks high level. Yeah. That's be that's my friend another again another friend of mine that I went to school with. That's his company right there. Where that's his company. That, uh, B and M Digital is the name of the company that did that. It's a friend of mine that I went to school with. It's comp uh, videography company. So I just got with him, and he. Hey, um, where was it a hookup? Pardon? Did you pay for this or was it a hookup? Yeah, no, I paid for it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's talk about that right now, if you don't, because people want to know details. How many units are you delivering a month? Oh, I'm in the you know I'm in the twenties monthly. Okay, so you're you're twenty plus you know guy. Now what's interesting is this, and Susan, this is just for the article I want this to be put in there. The NADA says this is when the economy was awesome. You know that the average dealership was selling about a hundred units um, a month, and the average dealership had ten salespeople. The average salesperson sold ten cars. So you are delivering double or more than double what the average salesperson does. Um, over the course of, of, of the month. Now, for me, as you know, as uh, you know, a trainer consultant, I got to tell you that that's that's pretty damn impressive. So let's go through this. Your twenty plus, you know, um, unit delivery. Uh, at next thing is what about gross? Let's say per year. Are you over a hundred thousand dollars a year? Yes, absolutely. Perfect. My first full months. I started August first of two thousand ten. Was my first day. In the business, and Jella, for my first full year of uh, on the books for 2011, I was definitely a six-figure player. Okay, so now that's that's the other thing, Susan. Cracks me up. Is it how long have you been doing this? Period. August first, 2010, was my first day on the floor, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay, listen to me, and I've got dealerships that are in Tennessee. I ain't mention any names that on the 16th of the month they've got one unit out delivered, which is kind of surreal. So this is what Auto Success Magazine is about: is showing people how to be successful. So let's go through the list because I've talked to you over and over again. Now, before I do that, Susan, he, he's not lying. The guy cyber stalked me uh, until like I was like, "I, right, uncle, uncle, you win." All right, I'll talk to you. 
And then, Basically, yeah. No, but that's what you need. You need tenacity. You need persistence. You need you need to want to be successful, and that's what I firmly believe is it's the first conscious decision, I think, Robert, correct me if I'm wrong, that you want to be successful. Because if you truly want to be successful, then nothing's going to freaking stop you, not a damn thing. And it seems like with the stuff that you're doing, it's surreal. So let's go into this. Do you start your day just winging it, or do you have a plan every day you come to work? Every day. It's a ta I am a boring person. I'm a textbook. Every day is, you know, it's, it's laid out and mapped out. Okay, so having a plan. If you don't mind sharing just a couple little bullet points, what does your typical day look like that you're at work at the dealership? All right, well, I get in, you know, no matter, even if it's supposed to be my day to come in at 12, I'm in, you know, 8.30, 9.30 at the latest. Um, I take a look at my appointments and stuff for the day, and then I schedule every time, you know, I try to schedule my appointments after 11 because 9 to 11 has been successful phone time for me to get people on the phone at work or cell phone, so I'm banging phones from 9 to 11. Um, from 11 to 1, I, you know, uh, I usually parlay phones over usually about till 12, but from 11 to, tw you know, usually between 11 and 12, I'm on the phone with my web guy. We're talking about, you know, things that we're going to, you know, different marketing ideas because I still do the classic stuff like pens, magnets, all that timeless stuff. So I'm always looking for something new to do with that. So I'm always, me and him usually have a conference between 11 and 12, and then 12 to 1, I do lunch, but I don't, I don't go out. Rarely I'll go out. What I do is I call clients during from 12 to 1 and ask them to go to, you know, try to see if I can get somebody to go to lunch for me, you know, and most cases they're not available, but at least I'm offering, and then I usually do a point, I, I, I try to set up my appointments between that 1 and 3 o'clock, and then, uh, you know, depending on most people's availability there in the afternoon, but listen, they buy a car only three every three or five years, so it's a big deal, so I try to get them to come in, you know, on my time, you know, when it's convenient for me and like leave work, you know, I can get them in and out at one or one o'clock, two o'clock, but at five or six, 45 minutes. Here's something, you know, it, 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 when I go into dealership and I train, um, there's eight different ways that you could earn an opportunity to do business. You have obviously VBACs, okay, which it's not technically a category, but you know, from the previous month. So in the month of, let's say March, okay, because we're about to go into March 1st, tomorrow. Um, you have VBACs that you could bring back into the dealership from all of this month, you know, February and January, etc. So besides that, the other ones would be, let's say, walk-ins, like fresh ups. You've got phone ups. You've got internet, right? And I'm going to stop there because I just named four. I've got four more, but I'd like to see if you utilize any of the other four ways to generate opportunities besides walk-in, internet, and phone ups and VBACs. Well, you have your own personal prospecting. Okay, so okay, those would be yeah, which could be online or when you're out okay, there. So about, prospecting, about. I'm, I'm going to circle that one. So he said prospecting. Next, what else? Um, does, does, is that falling under internet as well? Like yeah, Facebook, yeah, that's social media. That's prospecting. Here, I'll jump in just for time's sake. Referrals. You got, exactly. You got referrals. Okay, so you got prospecting referrals. Two more. And repeats. Um, repeat business, correct? Yeah. And then one more. Um, service. Say what? Service. Service customer. Uh -huh. Service customer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. So now follow well, me. They're like a fresh. Yeah. Now, but follow me. I'm talking about for service customer. Yeah. Susan, didn't you just do a big cover story about generating sales from service? I just saw. Yep. Okay. So follow me on this. There's eight different ways. Most salespeople don't understand what you just laid out. They don't understand that it's more than just the up bus that comes through. I'm not talking about the UPS bus either. I'm talking about they think that people are just walking through the front door and they catching up is the best way they could sell an automobile. But you have fresh opportunities. You got walk-ins. You got phone ups. You got your beatbacks. You got your referrals. You got you know uh, uh, prior customers uh, service. But you mentioned something which is we're going to talk the rest of the day about with prospecting. That's what this site is that I see here. You are creating opportunities. And that is what most people forget. They're, it's the lost art of prospecting. I mean, if you look at real estate agents, there's billboards of real estate agents, they're in magazines, they're this, they're that, because they take it seriously. It's hunting and gathering. I mean, you are in a, an amazing career, because Susan, you had to write this down, in a recession, in the end of recession, this man's been in the industry less than two years, making six figures, that is insane, and there's people that have college degrees, master's degrees, that are working at the restaurant for like $30,000 if they're lucky. 
So what you've got, brother, is something special. This is why, not because you're cyberstalking. I'm from New York. I ain't scared. Like, that's not why I'm talking to you. I'm talking because I'm impressed at what you've done, and you should be extremely impressed with what you've done. Now, the idea that I want you to take out of this, this website over here, you've got to build your brand like, think about real estate agents, or like the dealership itself. I mean, and I love this. Part of me at first, I'll be honest with you, the whole, you're your Hyundai guy, I thought you were limiting yourself because what happens if you left the dealership, you left Hyundai, but you know what? Stick with it, man, because do you understand as you keep building this equity, you're building the equity in the URLs, you're building the equity in the logo, you're building the equity in the videos, the blog posts, all that is equity. It's collateral that you're depositing. I mean, I'm not saying anything because I'm on video right now, but shoot, who knows? You might get a corporate sponsorship deal from Hyundai. You never know. If you get that branded in your area as one of the top salespeople, and then as long as you coincide, how is your certification through Hyundai going? I mean, I've been, I'm 2012 star certified. Oh, the regional manager has seen my stuff, and he's kick, he kicks it upstairs to the... What to I would start the, doing is this. I would, I would start personally reaching out to your OEM reps. I would turn around and ask them what you could do because besides there being regular just 2012 certification, different manufacturers have different rules. Um, again, I'm not sure of Hyundai's per se, but you might have master you know, salesperson, which is a, an elite status of a sales professional through Hyundai. I know that they're sales management certified. But if you're going to be um, repping the, this whole Hyundai thing, then you need to be maximizing all of the OEM resources, all the OEM training, etc. You want to you want to scream so loudly without even saying a word. That's deep. That's Zen right there. You want to scream so loudly without even saying a word that Hyundai manufacturers come to you and like, listen, we want you to be like our Jared or whatever the guy's name is from Subway. You know what I'm saying? Like to be yeah. able to come. I mean, like you want to be the spokesperson for salespeople. I mean, because that is a model right there that you could walk into this industry, work at Hyundai, and make six figures in, in, in Maryland. God bless you, brother, for real. So now, what is your strategy for videos? Let's go into that right now. Because um, how often are you taking video testimonials? Um, as often as they'll let me, people will let me. How, how often do you take a shot every time? Uh, I get a no. I get a, a photo. A lot of people just are shy. They don't want to do the. Uh, Let me give you some tips right here. All right, I'm going to give you some advice. Um, there's five main reasons why people are going on the internet. That's price, availability, convenience. They hate car salesmen or research, or their motivations. Why you know what they're looking for. All right. Again, price, availability, convenience, etc. And then take take it a step further. On top of that, there are different categories of people. You've got female shoppers. You got first time buyers, you got people that have, you know, bad credit, etc. You got senior citizens, you got families, you got whatever. You should create a video testimonial for each of the categories. Okay, this is deep, follow me. Again, it's like if you're a trial lawyer, you're not gonna just ask questions to the witness, you're gonna prep your witness. Make sense? You're never gonna ask a question that you're not prepared for. This is actually a good tip. So if I were you, I would start categorizing. If you know that you just delivered a vehicle and they just got an incredible price deal, or they, they even tell you, you know, Robert, I've been shopping everywhere, but you, you're the best. I would turn on and, 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 and structure that, articulate that video testimonial for pricing. Okay, let's say you had somebody that was convenient. You actually, one of the things, Susan, and I don't know if you saw it, but he actually brings the vehicle to them. So that's a convenience thing. I'm busy as hell. I'm not a price shopper personally, but, you know, that would appeal to me. Straight up, as if you start and say, listen, I'm going to bring the vehicle to you. you no, know, you don't even have to worry about buying the vehicle. I'm just going to bring it to you just to take a look at. I mean, like, I'm going to give you a hell of a testimony right there. I'd be like, listen, I've never had somebody bring me uh, anything, never mind a car to look at without having any obligations. So think about if you start using some psychology with your actual video testimonials, how powerful that would be instead of just getting, like, you're a great guy. No, I understand. And then, and like you said, have them in the categories per this person was here because they got a great deal, this person because of the convenience, this person because of availability, et cetera, et cetera. All okay. right? I'm going to Google. Now, here's the thing which you want to do now. Is, okay, so if I type into Google, how would you think somebody would search for something at your, at your dealership? Forget about you. If they were going to type in Hyundai, Hyundai. Uh, what's the number one? Sonata, right? Yeah. Okay, and then um, how do you spell Hagerstown? Uh, one G. There you go. Okay, so if there's Hyundai Sonata, Hagerstown MD. Okay, it's Massey Auto, every car listed. These are lead source providers. Three months. Hey, mind you, everybody, three months I've been doing the video and the website stuff only. Three right. months, and it's mass, and the impact's been big. 
Yeah, no, no. Three I, months. So my 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 search and my SEO is in, is you know a little bit of time. It'll be better. Yeah, no, no, help. and that's what I'm going to help you with. Um, again, yeah. what I'm saying here is what you look at. This is funny. This is coming from like um, like data from JD Power, etc. Is that you have uh, literally about six percent OEM closing ratio for leads. You have a seven. Um, you have about an eight percent closing ratio from third party providers, but seventy percent of the traffic you get from third party providers originates on search engines. Third party providers are awesome, but if you look here, every car listed, every car listed. Car, cars.com, Autos Yahoo, Used Cars, Kelly Blue Book, you know, um, these are all third-party providers. Now, what you can do is when you take these videos, do you see this right here? This is exactly what I would be typing into the title of the videos. I would be, I, if it was a Sonata video that you just sold, I would, I would put Hyundai Sonata Hagerstown MD testimonial. You don't even need to turn around and brand your name or the dealership name whatsoever because what you want is beginning with the end result in mind. If somebody's going to type in Hyundai Sonata Hagerstown MD or Hyundai dealer Hyundai Hagerstown MD or whatever related, you want all this stuff to show up there. Does that make sense? And yeah. that's what I want you to do and that's what I'm going to help you uh, to do is I want you to be able to think like a dealership. When I build internet departments for dealerships, brother, I'm telling you, if you create that strategy for yourself, forget about it. It's going to be over. So I'm excited for you, man, and I'm excited to you know see you uh, do what you do. And I want to show you one other thing. And Susan, I don't know if you've ever seen this, and I want this to be broken from Sean Bradley and Robert White. Are you ready? Okay. Have you guys ever seen this before? Aloxy devices? Huh? Yeah, this is the thing we we kind of spoke. Is this the thing we spoke yes. briefly about that one day? Yeah, but I've never showed it to you or like the the diagram or Susan. Have you ever seen this before? No, explain this to me. Okay, I gotta yeah. give, I gotta give credit to one of my people, Josh. He's um you know our tech guy over here. He's an he's definitely awesome. Okay, this is a Loxy device. It looks like it's what like an like an like a Bluetooth earpiece. Susan, this is a video camera, and it doesn't just upload you know stuff in real time. It streams to either, you know, a live casting or to your social media streaming. So check this out. If, if I turn around and get an email from Susan Givens on a 2010 Hyundai Sonata, I'd, I'd turn around, put this little earpiece in video, and I would, you know, walk to my showroom or to my lot, and I'd say, you know, and I'd say, Susan, uh, thank you so much for your internet purchase request for the vehicle. It's it's in stock right now. Take a look at it. It's uh, owned by, you know, one person. They bought the vehicle here, service the vehicle here. It's absolutely friggin' phenomenal. So try to imagine doing video on demand, streaming, real time, walk around presentations, demos, whatever. How sick is that? That is nice. We need okay. to mention this in the article. Uh, yes, ma'am, you do. You know what I mean? Because somebody hijacked me. Mark Dubas actually showed me about the uh, about the flip devices, and everybody in the mother invented flip thing, flip cams in the automotive industry. I've never seen this broken yet um, in the automotive industry. So, Robert, I guess this goes. This little video can go with any phone, then, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Or even iPhone and Android. Okay. Yeah, but but this is not just for that. What I'm saying is this: is that I've actually got one of these. What happens is it's got it's like this looks exactly like this. You put it on your ear, and you it doesn't have to stream to here. Um, it could stream to a website. You could frame it in. Matter of fact, if you go to automotive internet sales, no, most people don't realize this because I don't promote it yet. Is that I've got a section here that I could do live trainings uh, with the Loxy device. I haven't really. So if you go to my media. still it's loaded up hmm. where do I order this thing at man you can just go on Google I just did that anyway there's a section up here that if you there it is if you see this right here it says Sean B Bradley live you see you guys see this when you click mm -hmm. there it's a box this is freaking awesome Susan so I was saving this for you today so when you go to Sean B Bradley live look at this Okay, right here, there's a live box right here, and this is the Loxy. This is it. It's not on now, so you're not going to see anything, but you see. Uh, is that pretty cool, right, man? So I can go out and be like, you so can I can have a page on my site yes. where people can be like, hey, go here. You're going to see a full walk around yes. this video. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Uh, now, I got one even better. You ready for this? Boom. Okay. Yeah. I got one better than that. 
okay, what you want to be is the subject matter expert, my friend. You could do webinars on how to buy a car. Can you imagine yeah. turning around saying, listen, who better than the Hyundai guy expert to teach you how to buy a car, how to buy a new car, how to buy a used car? So you could turn around and have, you could do a go-to meeting like this, or you could turn around and do a live, you know, um, you know, cast, so to speak. No oh, man, that's it. That's I mean, and and I know I know the importance of branding yourself as the expert, and I do it like I do a regular terrestrial radio show. I know you kind of ragged me, remember I told because it's you know kind of outdated, but it's something. One month I go on and give tips on uh, buying a car, maintaining your car, this and that on a regular local talk radio show. But now this is big, just having it on your site like this. I'm all in on this. This thing is called the. Uh, is the camera called the lo the Loxy, yes. Loxy. But, um, I'm going to turn and pull my people up here. Hold on for one second because th there's other cool things too. Josh, come here, please. Okay, so this is the one that I got, but there's, there's, there's different things you could actually do with just your iPhone. The thing that I like about this is that this is mounted on your head. You know what I mean? So you could be driving, you could be walking, you could be doing this, you could be doing that. So, Josh, you're on camera. Come here. Okay, so... As soon as you look at him, you know he, he knows what he's talking about. Okay, come here. <laughs> he's my tech superhero. Come on in. Hey, what's up? Okay, so this is Josh. He specializes in our advanced like technology stuff here. So what we're doing is we're having a, a live like webinar type thing or mm -hmm. interview. Now, it's talking about the Loxy device. Can you explain the logic behind this? Well, basically, well, as he said, it's live streaming media um, that you can integrate into all social media. But as, as he also said, there's other uh, options that you can use that are embedded in the iPhone themselves. You don't need an external element. Uh, there is, oh, what's the name of the application? Yeah. yeah, quick. Kick. Kick. That's it. Kick. Yeah. Uh, Q-I-K. Q-I-K. And now what that does is that turns your, and I use that too, which is friggin' awesome, uh, if you don't want to wear the headgear, so to speak, you can turn on and take your iPhone and make your iPhone this device. And whatever you're pointing your iPhone screen at, like right here, it'll be able to stream directly live Fine. to another okay. iPhone. And that's QIK? QIK. QIK. And QIK. it's a free service. So you can just download the app off of your iPhone, QIK, and you can download this app right here, the Loxy device. The only difference that I would say, and, and just... Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that you know there's a difference of holding the damn iPhone with the with the kick versus yeah. have the camera right there and your your hands free and you could do demos and point there and do all this other stuff. Right. Well, that's good for a vehicle presentation, but for yes. the webinars for like buying a car and stuff, you want someone to shoot you probably yes. with the camera. So yes. it goes both ways. So you're gonna you're, so you're gonna help me get this this set up on my site. Oh man, this is what we talked about. Absolutely. Like I was trying to tell you, this my my people are beasts here. I got you. So now, here's the other thing that I wanted to say, though, is that, you know, the iPhone cameras are phenomenal. The new i4 4S cameras are better than most cameras out there on the planet right now. Well, they're, well, I mean, they're say for 8 megapixel on the glass is very good. Yeah. Uh, and you can also get these externals. up that. There are uh, iPhone cases that you can buy now. Uh, go to photojojo.com. J O J O. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Uh, you can actually buy an SLR lens mount <laughs> Look for at your this. iPhone. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the store. Okay, this. Oh, you can make it wide, this. wide lens. Scroll down. You see this? Yeah, I saw this. Scroll down. You'll, you'll see it. These are all iPhone mounts right there. Look at that. Look at Susan's face. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> what? Come on, man. And they've got steady cameras. You know I, mean? I mean, I mean, I there's a picture in here of a telescopic uh, <laughs> lens, like a 2,500 millimeter lens. You know, the kind that they use for sporting events, attached to an iPhone. Yeah, and they've also got video stuff too. I mean, like you could actually have. You see how this is like a little small mount, but you see this? They they actually have mounts for the iPhones. Like like if you're shooting a music video, they've got like a steady camera for iPhone. Yeah. For me, I have a bicycle mount. Do you really? I have a bicycle mount that I just clip on my phone to, and I can That's record crazy. my rides. Yeah, so you can like clip it on your chest and stuff like that yeah, too. Yeah. Sometimes. You do a lot of cool stuff. But the the bicycle mount on the handlebars is actually also a steady. 
Oh, it's on the handlebars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. Yeah. It actually has a balance to it. Oh, I thought you were saying. So, Susan, what is your thoughts as auto success as a publisher hearing all of this stuff that a sales professional is going to use? Well, yeah, I think that this is going to be going to need to be a whole other article too. Well, <laughs> what I've seen is that me and you could brainstorm after this because I need to write my article too. Maybe we yeah. discuss what we've got and what direction you want me to take and what direction you're going to take for the interview. Because what we talked about last week about how you know the dealers, the GMs, they they want to see like some cool new things that that they can get for free or that they can get help with. Yeah, that's also this is, what's right. in, this is exactly what we're talking about. That's also what's so nice about that kick is uh, it live streams videos, but what it does after it, you're done streaming, it saves and then auto posts to your YouTube. Wait, what do you mean? That's Q U K Q U quick like that Q U I K or Q I K. Yeah, I just downloaded it. Okay, yeah, this is it right here. You can have it post to your YouTube, Facebook, and even Twitter. Yeah, this is really cool. It works with your WordPress, as you can see. Uh, it also works on Android and iPhone. So now, now, because Josh is full of advanced technology, as you see here, not a car guy, but now, how would you use this? It, it, you know, well, how would you suggest that a sales professional, a car salesman, would use this software? Like, what, what would you see the best, most easily applicable uses? I mean, I, I can see some interesting uses in an example, uh, you know, a salesperson actually takes uh, a new car on the lot for a test drive and gives kind of like a personal review of the car as he's driving. That's a friggin' awesome idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, and you know what's funny? This goes into the whole Zmot thing. Think about this real quick here. And you've seen that, right, Robert? Yeah. The whole zero moment of truth stuff that's all over Google? Mm-hmm. Okay, is that, you know, when people are going on to search, what they're doing is they're looking at reviews. I mean, if you're the Hyundai guy, you should be reviewing your opinion. You should be like Cisco and Ebert. Yeah, I mean, you should be the Hyundai guy. I mean, that's what I want to see you in the next evolution of this is take that to a whole nother level. You should be reviewing all positive, you know what I mean? But, you know, what do you like the best about this Hyundai, et cetera? You know what I mean? Always positive, et cetera. But, that, that's awesome. You could be in the car saying, I love the way that this car drives, you know, and yeah. let's look at this. And this and is I real. Mean, you, can get, you can get uh, an iPhone mount that sticks to, like, one of the, the vents for the air conditioning. And you can position it so that way you don't. Yeah, like the hidden hole. camera. Like, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> that would be cool. And that's actually. Dude, show me you find this guy, man. Huh? When I find him, listen, listen. Don't you ask That's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my secret weapon. Thank you, sir. What can I say? I'm a Mac geek. Yeah. <laughs> and he's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Thanks, Josh. No, 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 no problem. problem. Thank you, Josh. Okay, so Susan, I see you like your mind spinning. Yeah. This is cool yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely. So now, you mentioned something before. I'm going to start winding this down, that people make fun of you at the dealership and they grind you and stuff like that, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, trust me, constantly. Let me explain this to you. You know what my wife does with the whole entertainment thing. We talked about this. Mm -hmm. Again, there's going to be haters in every aspect of, of life. If people weren't hating, then you're not worth talking about. You follow what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's it. It comes with, it comes with success. Absolutely. I understand that. For sure. So Those are the people that aren't making 100 grand a year. Wow. Oh, you're you right. Know, many, to talk about. How many people aren't making 100 grand a year right now? I mean, it's, it's really kind of sad. I mean, people that have to worry about income and this and that, and you are at a car dealership in your 30s, never been trained before, and you go. You should be very proud of yourself, my friend. And Susan, this is an auto success story right here. Yep. All right, anything else, uh, Miss Publisher? Um, not at the moment. We may want to follow up with you a little bit later, Robert, and do kind of a podcast interview for our website. But yeah. I'll have our editor, Dave Davis, reach out to you. Yeah, and definitely we'll do it on a time or not. You know, yeah. that I'm not yeah. here, not home. And, I mean, I'm excited to, you know, break in on all this stuff right here. I mean, this is the way to go. And I want to maximize every piece of technology. That's, I'm, a, I'm a technology geek, and I want to maximize every piece of it and be the guy that is using it, you know, separate myself from the pack even further. 
Yeah, and what I would do is this, and this is, Susan, you see them for every single person that's been on the cover of this magazine, that magazine, or has got a voice in the industry, has got stuck up behind Jeff Kurt, I mean, when you look at, uh, you know, Ralph, when you look at all these people, they started out doing, at working at the dealership level, and they've got these surreal jobs or these surreal visibility or the surreal credibility. One thing that I don't see a lot of that I'd like to see from you is your voice. I mean, you are on the front lines. I mean, I've got a tremendous amount of experience, but brother, I'm not selling cars every day anymore. Like, I'm in dealerships almost every day, but this at, at different stores. You have the boots on the ground, so to speak. You should definitely figure out a way where maybe Susan could, you know, speak to you, even if it's just for the website, you know, or even our website that we spoke about, AIS, or the, the combination, where you could just give us your opinion, what's working, what's not working. Um, again, like CNN has their, those eye reports, right? So, Susan, yeah. another idea, another good idea right there. You should have like the eye reports for, for auto success. How cool would that be? You know what I mean? That would be cool. I, mean, I, but I'm as, I am as front line as it gets, guys. As front, I mean, you see that. I mean, they're pulling me away. They're giving, they're dropping off paperwork to me while I'm doing this. You know I mean? <laughs> this is it. Well, listen, thank you so much. And like I, like I said, honestly, I'm very proud of you, what you've accomplished. And uh, I'm very excited to be able to pick your brain a little bit and share a little bit as well. Thank you so much for your time. You got it. Thank you. Hey, Susan, I, now I know you know your question earlier about where to spend that thousand bucks. I'm going to get myself one of those little camera headpieces. There you go. There you go. That now the app is already downloaded. Guys, thank you, Sean. I'm, 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 I'm fired up, man. Okay, Susan, I'm going to stop the recording here.